Just made it to the loop. Um, just got off the train, I'm walking towards Grand Park. Spend the day in the city, one, because there's not much else to do. Two, I hope I'm walking east, I don't even know. I've been here so many times, but I got off at a weird stop, um, so I'm kind of lost. So it's around August 20th. All my friends have basically already left for college. I'm like the only one left. I started like, I think September 21st, so I'm moving in the 17th. I haven't gotten anything though, so I really gotta start doing that. So as of tomorrow, Chicago is actually reinstating the mask policy. Basically, if you go in an indoor space, you have to wear it. I don't know if that's gonna be universal for Illinois, but it's another thing, because um, I guess the Delta variant is getting um, really uh, widespread and contagious. But yeah, I'm starving, so I'm gonna get a bite to eat. Okay, thank you. Chick-fil-A never disappoints, that's for sure. There are sauces here. Fries and our sandwich. I'm gonna finish this up and then catch you guys after. Just finished having late lunch dinner. So those right there are the fountains. They're another tourist attraction. Everyone usually goes here after the Bean and Millennium Park. It's uh, it's a really big spot for a lot of people. They really enjoy it. It's cool because like the kids can play around and stuff. All right, everyone. The dirtiest landmark in all of Chicago. So the Bean is actually called the Cloud Gate for those of you who don't know, and it's just the structure that kind of represents Chicago. For me, I think it's overrated, but a lot of people like coming here. You can see. Um, a lot of tourists here already taking photos, and despite it being COVID, it's still opening up, so that's that's kind of um, a good sign, for sure. The area I'm in right now is called Grand Park. That's like the centerpiece of Chicago when you look at it on a map. It's a large park area. Think of like Central Park, a little smaller, um, but it houses Millennium Park, Maggie Daly Park, the Bean, uh, the Fountains, and then a lot of other things. Uh, this is also where a lot of Palooza happened, so a lot of things happened here, which is really cool. It's super nice. Uh, it's a little hot, but um, I think it's still really beautiful and I'm gonna get some cool time lapses of some of the buildings that I'm gonna put in here right now. My camera battery is very close to dying, so I'm gonna to try to finish this video up as quick as I can. But I also wanna leave you guys with some new things. Uh, I usually talk about college tips in all my videos, but today I wanna to switch. I wanna be discussing something more life-based and life-oriented for anyone who could be watching. And uh, especially now more than ever, I want to talk about the idea of doing something you love versus doing something that will make you better off. These two things are very important to uh, discuss and think about when you're trying to find a career that you want to pursue for the rest of your life or even maybe for a little bit. Um, but I really think it's important not to just always go with the choice you think is obvious. That might be either way. Let's say you're someone who wants to only do a job that uh, will give them money at the expense of their happiness or at the expense of what they actually want to do. It might be a job that they're good at, which is great, but at the same time, it might be a job that each and every day they're going to wake up not wanting to go and they're just going to be motivated by the money. I think that's uh, not the best mindset to have. Uh, and of course, this is all my personal opinion, but I really want to share it because I think it's not said enough. On the flip side, there's also people who go out and say that they're going to do something that they love, which is great, but they're going to find something that's not that, that will not make them financially stable. And I think that's another problem because the most important thing in life, but it's also the hardest thing, is to find a career or a pursuit that will make you better off and that you're also happy to do in general. That's what makes life very thrilling, I guess is the word, because you get to try different things. You get to uh, kind of like pick your poison in different things that you do, and you could find something that you like, that will make you better off, and that'll make you happy. You know, you could take this advice and do whatever you want with it. You could put it to one ear out the other. Um, you could, you know, take the advice and maybe follow it. Whatever you do with it, you know, that's not what I'm telling. That's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video more is to just kind of explain my opinion and my thought on these things because I, I really think, especially as a college student going forward after my freshman year, majors were something crazy. You know, you, you kind of go in with, into college thinking you definitely are set on one and then things change. I changed like three different times. I still am not perfectly sure what I'm doing, but I think that's the best part about it because I get to explore and see what I want to do. 
um, and what could also make me financially stable. So, like I said, don't go through life only thinking about one of those things. It's important to think about everything before you make a final decision with your career. And I really emphasize just doing what you want to do, doing something that'll make you happy, that'll make you well off, and not doing something that someone tells you to do only. Yeah, that's basically gonna be the video. It's very unconventional, and very different from my other college videos, but so what, I wanted to make a different one. So my battery is literally telling me it's gonna die. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to give it a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, share the video out to people who need it. Uh, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying strong. Always, always remember to stay motivated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.